we've watered Rascal this morning. He likes to play with the hose. And he's a really good gardening helper. So, hey, good morning. Real quick update. I'm gonna take you on a quick walk around the patio and some new stuff that I've gotten. Some more succulents, some more cactus. Got some aloe back there. Um, we're winding down summer. I've started fall planting already, but I can't do in the gardens yet because I don't know what to do about the bunnies. I know what a lot of you would suggest, maybe not. Um, I'm just gonna let my summer stuff die off and then I'll do like winter crops. But I do have some Swiss chard in and I have some flowering kale, which is absolutely edible. Uh, I've got a few of those scattered around the garden now. Just when they start to flower and bolt, they get a little bit more bitter than the traditional kale. But if you eat them young or plant them as microgreens, while you still can before the frost, they can take a little bit of a frost, um, you'll be fine. And it's a really sweet, like if I pick a leaf now and eat it, it's really sweet. They taste really good. You wanna try some? Good boy. So, yeah, it's delicious. It's really good. Um, it's a little thicker, so there's a lot more substance to it. It tastes really good, and they're 100% edible. So I got the olive tree replanted. I can't remember if I showed you guys that last time or not. The, the pumpkins have died off, except they've come back in certain spots. And I'll go around to the other shot, side and show you a couple of pumpkins that are actually coming up. And it's kind of growing into, yeah. So I need to do something about that. Um, that's just where I scoop. So I scoop the yard, have dogs, enough said about that more of the same with flowering. These are a couple of the succulents that you probably saw in the last video. I gave mom some when she was here um, and I repotted the rest of them. And I've picked up a couple of just real rough starts, super inexpensive. Um, you have to know if you're gonna start bonsai whether they are outdoor bonsais or indoor bonsais, uh, especially with pine and juniper, any of the conifer family, you have to be real careful. Um, there are a few that you can grow indoors, but they really like to be outside. So recommendations, find out what you're doing before you start doing it, or you're gonna end up killing your first bonsais. And I'm hoping that doesn't happen to me, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, got some things that are still going strong and this bugle vine is doing really well. These are flowering again. And then I've started cuttings outside. We've got cuttings going for lavender and for mint, a lot of mint. I'm gonna try some of the bugle vine, see if I can do something with that. And then these little, um, they're aloe variants. They're not the same as this guy. There's like 150 different species of aloe, so I don't know right offhand which ones these are. Um, this guy back here is one also. But those are pretty cool. Done a lot of repotting. I got the ficus into its bonsai pot, which it's going to be its home for quite a while. And my air plant is doing well. I've got another one that I rescued inside, but this will eventually be trained but I like to kind of sit and figure it out and ponder on it before I even make a cut. And this just got repotted, so I'm not even gonna think about it because I did the roots. So you always wanna trim up the roots and then let it sit before you start cutting on the top. You could probably do a third of this successfully, but I'm not ready to hack at it yet. But everything is looking pretty healthy Succulents are easy. Um, there's even little pieces when I repotted that fell off. So I'm going to repot them eventually, but I'm going to let them take root. And that's what I mean by this. Oh, and there's a, another one down here. This is actually a non thorny cactus. Should be in the shade or should be in the sun, but I just, I don't have a home for it yet. But when you, when you repot, this one actually might have, it does. So you can see 
it's starting to grow roots. And succulents will grow roots. They're super easy as long as you don't butcher them. They're super easy to reroot and repot. You can just kind of lay them down. And uh, this one's got one little root on it, that little tiny root. But they'll they'll do really well for you. So don't be afraid if you see this one's even got. I'm not going to pull it out, but that one's got some rooting too. So we're just going to leave that leave that alone. I might prop it up here a little bit. There we go. There's always a good bark or two from Rascal in these videos. So the mint is flowering. I'm not going to take seeds because they you can take cuttings instead and just put them in water and they'll root just like basil does. The basil's going crazy. I um, took some cuttings from this one and rooted them and they just, they popped out really, really well and gave some plants to mom because she's going to do some indoor microgreens this winter as well. And then these I've kept on because I am going to take lavender seeds. They say that you can root them from cuttings. I've had these in the in this glass jar for uh, four days or so. I haven't noticed any roots, but I'm just gonna leave it alone, adding some water to it. Butterfly bush is doing really, really well. And, uh, and this, this was just about dead when I got it. The pencil cactus is a new addition. So because of rascal barking, I restarted the video a couple times, so I don't know if I actually, um, if I said this before or not, but yeah, this was like a dollar fifty reduction from about 10 bucks and it was just about dead. So I've repotted it. I'm going to repot it again in about a week into this one. And it's just doing really well. I've had a lot of success this year with, um, with repotting and, and reviving. So I'm happy about that. These guys are fine. The other two pumpkins that I had here that Rascal and Molly were sniffing the other video have started to rot off, but these guys have got pretty thick skins on them, so they should be fine. The vink has gone crazy. I got it this big, same with this one, this little variegated thing. I'm not sure, I don't remember what the name of it is, but one of you guys can comment below and tell me what it was. So. This was about this tall. Mom and I got some of these at the same time. And hers is little and mine just went crazy. But I, I potted it into this huge thing. So the roots went wild. And they're really pretty, these plants. And it's natural like that. These weren't dyed. This is just what the plant looks like. And they're just, they're beautiful. Yeah. Pumpkin's still going crazy. And... A new pumpkin. Ta-da! <laughs> There's a couple of these going. So I'm just kind of letting this live and it'll do its thing. Uh, this concerns me because it's kind of coming up into the windowsill. So, but it does have a pumpkin on it right there, which is kind of wild. So I'm just kind of letting it do its thing. And then when it's gone, we're gonna relocate as best we can so that it doesn't come up in the same place next year now this is one doesn't look like it's gonna make it yeah this is already starting to rot off so we can go ahead and just pop that off and then move this because it's got seeds in it but some of them make it this time of year some of them don't because it's pretty late today's yard cutting day oh there's a what is that the cardinal yeah, that's one of the babies. So there's been like 20 babies. This is a young male. Has absolutely no fear of us. Dogs don't scare it. It still doesn't have a, a crest yet. But we had like, it was like a rookery this year. That's pretty cool. Just eating thistle. I gotta re. See the squirrels. Oh, squirrels. Don't get me started on squirrels. They just annihilate. This was full. The one on the left there was full a couple days ago. And they just tip it. They do what they please. Down here, fine strosity, but it is still supporting 
the uh, tomatoes that are inside of it and growing along with it, which is kind of cool. So these are doing well. Have not noticed any hornworms, knock on wood, for about a month now. So that's fantastic. Maybe the hornworms are just content eating the vine. No idea. I've still got pump or pumpkins. I've got tom tomatoes coming. So there's a few on this plant. These are Cherokee purple, so they're going to be that beautiful dark color, uh, almost that color when they come out. Well, the hawk's nearby. I can hear it. A couple of different echinaceas. I hadn't seen like the whitish yellow. These are beautiful but I've had a couple of these throughout the year, but this will get repotted. Where is that? I hear it. Oh, that might be a squirrel. They're similar. That might be a squirrel. Somewhere up there in the canopy. Sun is shining. There it is. Still behind the trees. So I've got really good light for the rest of this video for the next couple minutes. But the rosemary's doing really, really well. You just can't see it because of the vine, but it's back here. I've taken cuttings of that and been successful this year. And then the accompanying flowers for pollinators has done really well. Fall's here, y'all. This is the first day of fall. I'm filming, so that makes it, what, the 22nd? 23rd? It's Saturday. I'm filming Saturday morning, so I'm probably going to upload today as well. So you guys should get a same-day video on this. And yes, there are still two rabbit holes in here. You can see where the pea pebble has been up, done, or pulled out, dug in. Peppers are just about done. I still got some beans. Love the beans. I had a bumper crop of beans this year, but beans are pretty easy to do. Those are good too. Sorry. And then this is the other rabbit hole. And they're way down in there. I've got what I thought was a finished cucumber vine, but there's still a couple of holdouts. There's a little cucumber coming out. They're still trying. They're such resilient plants. I've got another one down there. So they're telling me they're not quite done yet, but they are just about. Cool thing is they will continue to flower even after they're done producing plant or um, fruit, which is great for bees, late season bees. Because the bumblebees and the honeybees are still furiously trying to get pollen and nectar, as are the hummingbirds. The hummingbirds have been all over that. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I'm gonna get back in the house and edit a couple things real quick. Might do a fire tonight. All in all, we've done pretty well. Oh, tons of babies here. And I think one more pumpkin. I'll show you guys that too. So I got one more little tiny pumpkin back here. I have cut this as much as I could. There's the pumpkin. I had to cut it back because it was basically taken over the yard and they suck up so much nutrient out of the ground that pretty much kills off everything else. So, oh, and a million spider plant babies. If anybody wants any that's local to like the Ackworth area, I can take them down to work to Bullshad and uh, give you guys cuttings. So hit me up on a DM on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok that's it y'all that's the garden and the patio not bad it's been a pretty good season i'll uh, i'll keep you guys posted on the, the fall and the wintering and i'm probably going to do a lot of indoor gardening this year too which is exciting at least for me and you guys are still going to get regularly scheduled other videos of me so i've got like five spray sessions Two have been filmed and I'm editing. That's one of the things I'm editing this morning. And then the rest are coming. So I hope you guys have a fabulous day. 
and I will see you guys on the next one. Cheers and happy gardening <laughs> and casting from Jekyll Bates. See, it's a lawn tractor. That's my cue. See ya. <laughs>